Good afternoon and welcome to Morning Meets the I'm your host, Glenn Prime. For today, we're going to be looking at the Transformers Legacy Hotshot from Transformers Armada. He is the second figure in the Armada series that we've gotten re-released in this new Transformers Legacy wave. You know, the wave after uh, War for Cybertron. Now, I don't know about the rest of you, but I am ecstatic to be getting more Armada stuff. I, was, I, I just couldn't pick up the Armada stuff when uh, it was coming out. It just looked a little too cheap, in my opinion, and uh, I do regret not picking anything up but the Unicron. Like, I picked up the Unicron, but that's the only Armada toy that I own, and uh, it's a bit of a shame. I really liked Armada. I just wish the toys had been better, and honestly, you know, at the time Armada was coming out, they had Transformers Alternators, and that's where my money went. Well, it went to the Alternators. Alternators were pretty cool. I liked them. Anyway, for today, we're going to be looking at Hotshot. Now, Hotshot is a Transformer that I kind of liked. I, I, I did enjoy him in the show. Yeah, some people hate on a Hotshot, but Hotshot was a, you know, he was a new guy. This was this was his first time doing things. He was the new recruit of the group. And uh, I do wish, you know, they managed to make it Hot Rod, but also at the same time, I'm glad that we got ex to, to experience a brand new character. Like, this was the first debut of this character. And uh, I do wish you know, he would continue and they bring more Hotshot out. Yeah, Hotshot was a decent character. And he was a cool one, too. So, what does this figure have to offer? Uh, well, articulation-wise, he's got, uh, you know, his head moves around. But it, uh, it can look up slightly, but it can't look really down. It also has these cool uh, little, uh, I don't know, visor that can go over his eyes. That's pretty neat. He's got goggles. You know, it was the time of the goggles in anime. Everything had goggles back then. <laughs> now, his, uh, his articulation for his arms, it can move up about a 90, but the shoulder pads get in the way, and it can rotate around pretty good, but these shoulder pads get in the way. Uh, it does pull a 90 on the elbow. I do wish they had managed to get double elbows, and uh, sadly, these hands are just molded into the same plastic as the arms, but he does have these nice guns on either, on either arm around his wrist area. He's got wrist guns. Ooh, he's Black Widow, but yellow. Yellow Widow. Ooh. Uh, so he's got little wrist guns on either arm, and um, I do wish they had done something with his hands, maybe make them a little more articulated. Maybe make these little guns on each of his hands actually, you know, have siege ports there so you could just remove each of them. That would have been cool. Then you could put them in other places. But, uh, so body-wise, he rotates at the waist. His hips have a good range of motion. The side to side is a little loose. I do wish they would do soft ratchets for the sides. Uh, that's that's just unnecessary, I think. Uh, back and forth, it does pretty good, but due to the kibble on the back of his legs, it's a little difficult to get some of these bigger moves, especially trying to get his knees to bend more than 90. You're going to have to actually move the kibble on his leg to get the knee to bend more than a 90. I think that's a missed opportunity. I think this kibble on his leg could have been folded one more time in on itself to make it a little easier for his knee to bend. But other than that, that's pretty good. Uh, his ankles do have an ankle tilt, and I do like his feet. We're going to talk about his feet, too. So let's uh, let's talk about this guy's sculpt work, and we'll work from the feet up. The feet are pretty neat. He's got these, uh, like, boots. Like he's some sort of... Um... <laughs> oh, excuse me. He's um, a cowboy or something. He's got these boots. And they're pretty cool. Cool little boots. And nice little texture on the boots. Got some uh, robot rivets on the front. And um, come up here. He's got, like, this guy's armor is sort of similar to a football armor or something. He's like a football player that took all the armor and made it into steel. Uh, he's got this knee pad thing that actually will fold up and close over his knee for the transformation. But right now it's like a knee pad. Yeah. Gives his uh, lower legs some depth. Uh, and uh, some definitely nice little textures going on there. The uh, the thighs, they didn't do anything with these thighs. I really dislike that. That is missed opportunities whenever they don't do anything with the thighs. And that's why, I, you know, I really like the uh, Star Saber for bringing, you know, thigh stuff out. And I just, I like any, any Transformer that they manage to put something into the thighs. But these are very smooth, very sleek, and not really much is going on. What's up, Cream? Yeah? You want to be a part of the video? Okay. So, weight-wise, this is a very hefty little Transformer. And as a deluxe class, he's got some good weight to him. And 
let's see uh so that was the legs now we're coming up here to the crotch area nothing really going on there texture wise the chest is really neat he's got like little abs down here at the bottom and he's got uh, uh this this little circle thing that's some sort of badge i don't know if it has the autobot symbol on it or not but you know he's got some cool textures going on on the chest his chest is really neat and uh, i think it's really cool I do like the little headlights, you know, he, he, can, he can blast some light out. Now, I, one of the cooler parts about this guy is these big old shoulder pads he's got. He's got some big, flat shoulder pads, like he's a, you know, he's a big football player guy. And uh, he's even kind of got a football helmet. Like, this, this, this is obvious. They were making fun of football a little bit with this character, but it's neat. Now, the, uh, the shoulders are big. But they do have a siege portal on each side, which is appropriate. I appreciate the siege ports. There's not enough siege ports in this build, in my opinion, because there's only one on each hand, one on each side of the shoulders, nothing on his arms, siege port-wise. Then down here on the legs, we've got one on each side of the legs, and then, of course, one on the bottom of each feet. So that's four on the legs, and then four in the arms, and one on the back. Yep, there's one on the back. And uh, that's it, so nine. Nine siege ports. Uh, that's, that, you know what? That's in the average. So he doesn't, he doesn't lose on siege ports, but then again, he doesn't have too many either. And it's a decent amount of siege ports. Now, that's the uh, sculpt for him and everything. It's, it's a pretty good figure. He's got a lot of cool stuff about him. And I think one of the neater things is, uh, let's get this, this weapon out. So he's got this weird weapon, and honestly... Uh, it's a little odd because it doesn't have a central actual uh, weapon port it's just got one on each side so he can let's see can you move your can you move your arms together enough to actually do it maybe maybe no no see that's that's another thing like you want to give a guy a weapon that, that can be held with two hands uh, but you're not going to give his arms the ability to actually hold the weapon in your two come on, come on. get your get your arm over there get your come on we can do it we can hold it in two hands. We did it! We did it! We held it in two hands! Yes! And one of them popped off. Okay. Alright. Um, so the weapon is pretty neat. It can be held in one hand. Um, it's got two siege ports below it. And on the top, it's got some, like, engine details. Because this is actually a plug-in engine for his uh, vehicle mode. We're going to set that off to the side and talk about the other thing. Now, in the show, they had uh, our little mini-cons that could plug into them and then allow their their robot bodies to do something new. You know, the Aminicom would give them some extra strength and then suddenly they'd have a weapon they didn't realize that they had. And this guy's weapon is this giant bazooka thing that comes out of his tires. And it folds up and it rotates around to sit right above his head. And uh, now he's got this giant cannon gun. I think it's kind of neat that they included that. Though it's a little sad that um, when we got the, the Armada uh starscream the armada starscream he came with a little vehicle you know it felt like a vehicle they, they etched one in to to access his weapons but this guy i don't feel a vehicle etched into anywhere um and honestly i think maybe a, it's, it, it's an overlooked opportunity there to etch a vehicle in. now why did you fall don't fall okay now let's get out the armada starscream and let's do a little size comparison with the two because I think it's important for us to focus on the Armada Starscream. He's the only other Armada figure we have. Armada Starscream is taller than Hotshot, which is appropriate for the show. I do love it. Armada Starscream, come on. There you go. Yeah, stand good. There you are. Now, the Armada Starscream does have the textured little vehicle for his Minicon. It's on his back, and it's textured. And sadly, the Hotshot does not. I, I think that is a missed opportunity on Starscream, why do you keep trying to fall backwards? They really needed a ratchet your ankles, I swear to God. Anyway, uh, that is Transformers Legacy Hotshot in his robot mode. It is a decent robot, and um, I think it's a, it's a great addition to the Armada collection that you're if you're building one, like I am. Um, my main things are I'm trying to collect all the Autobots from the first two seasons of G1. Oh, I'm doing a good job on that one. All I'm missing is Gears and Brawl and a couple of others. I need myself a Gears. And I just recently heard that there's a rumor where they're getting a Gears in the next year, which I'm happy about. I don't know about the rest of you. And, of course, you know, I'm needing that 
Brawn, and we're going to... Is it Brawn? Yeah, it's Brawn, not Brawl. Brawn is going to be coming in in Studio Series 86, and I have always wanted a Brawn car uh, toy. I, I just, I've always wanted one. I may actually buy a couple of them, just because it's one of those... It's like Wheelie. I just always wanted a Wheelie, and they never made one. And that's uh, nuts. Stupid nose. Why did you have to itch at the wrong time? Anyway, uh, before I destroy more of my set today, I think I'm going to let you guys go. Uh, you know, how I tend to accidentally destroy everything around me. Blind people problems, yo. Thank you for watching today's video, and I hope you've learned something about Hot Shot. And um, let me know in the comments below, are you excited about what's coming up next in Armada? Right now, we have the Megatron, who's supposedly appearing later this year and the Optimus Prime, who's supposedly appearing later this year. I think there's another Armada-related character, but I, I, I'm drawing a blank on it right now. I really want Armada Hoist. Uh, I really love that, that character, Armada Hoist, and I can't wait to see if they bring him. But you know, Optimus Prime is going to be amazing. And they're... So, that's rumor-wise, but the Megatron is confirmed. And there's going to be a beach comic. Oh, oh, this year's is exciting. Thank you for watching. Please tune in next Prime. We're going to have a Blindformers episode where I teach you how to transform Hotshot from his robot mode to his vehicle mode. Until then, I hope you have a great day.